In last video, we did simple data analysis using MySQL. Today, we are going to use Power BI to connect with the same MySQL database. And we will pull this data and do data cleaning. It is also known as ETL or extract, transform and load. We'll do some transformation because some of the data is messy and uh, we, we, need, we need to convert it in, into a different format so that we can perform our data analysis in Power BI. The first step obviously is to install Power BI. If you have Windows machine, you can click here store and open a Microsoft store. Remember Power BI is a Microsoft product and search for Power BI desktop. So you want to install Power BI desktop. I already have this installed, so it's gonna show me launch button. But if you don't have this installed, you will see install button here, okay? You can also launch Power BI by going here and just typing it Power BI. So see Power BI desktop, this is the option you want to install. Now what we'll do in uh, today's tutorial is we will pull this data in Power BI, we'll do our transformation or ETL, and then we will build a data model. This data model will be suitable uh, for doing our uh, analysis. Now, Power BI has launched and the first dialogue you see is this, and this could be actually confusing because, you know, when you say try free, you might think uh, this is a paid product, but this is actually a free product. Uh, you want to click on try free only if you want to collaborate and share the content. In our case, we don't want to do that for now. So you cancel this you can also open one of the existing projects here or you can directly click get data to connect with mysql database or any other data source i'm not gonna click here i'm going to just go really slowly step by step this is how the power bi ui looks and you can click on get data here click on more in more you will see all the sources that you can connect Power BI with. You can pull your data from simple Excel or CSV or JSON files. You can also pull it from different type of databases. In our case, it's MySQL database. So I'm clicking here, say connect. And in the connection info, my MySQL server is running on local machine. So I will just say local host. The name of the database is sales. So if you look at our SQL Workbench, see, sales is the name of this database. Click OK and it will connect. Now sometimes, you know, you might have to give username and password. So your username password by default will be root will be username and password will be either blank or root. So depends on how you have set up your MySQL. Here, uh, when I connected it, I, I see all these five tables. So if I click on this table, it will show me a quick preview, okay? So here I see an option load. So either you can load or you can uh, transform. So I, I'm gonna, see if you're connecting with one table, you can directly click on transform data and do your transformation. But I will first load all the information. So what's happening now is Power BI is connecting with MySQL, pulling all the records from these five tables into Power BI environment. And once this is here, we will use um, Power Query. Power Query is a tool that we can use to transform our data. So let's see. So on the Power BI left hand side, there are three options. So report, so th this is the place where we will be building our visualization. So in Power BI, those BI visualization or BI dashboards are actually known as reports. So you might get confused like what is a report, but report is nothing but the uh, visualization or BI dashboard. Here, when you click, uh, you will see all the tables so you see five tables so when you click on the table 
you know it will show you uh, the table on the left hand side all right so we have our customer table here if you click on sales date you will see sales date table sales market table so different tables are visible here also when you click here uh, you will see your data model now what is data model data model shows a relationship between your different tables here when we imported by default it established some relationship so see in a customer table we have customer code which corresponds to customer code in sales transaction so this relationship is it established on its own similarly in products in products uh, table uh, there is product underscore code which is same as product underscore code in uh, sales transaction so uh, the name of these fields are similar product underscore code product underscore score so based on that it established this relationship now some of these relationships cannot be established so we'll do it manually somehow see here it is market code and here is markets code that's why it did not establish the relationship so if you want to do it so you can drag and drop this thing here and it will establish the connection similarly order date here is same same as date in sales date table so we will drag and drop this so it connects both table with that relationship and when you hover here it will show you uh, this thing now this is called a star schema by the way so if you have heard about star schema so let's just do google so what is star schema so if you search for star schema this is a concept in the world of data analytics and data warehousing so if you click on this particular visual it will show you what is star schema so or maybe, maybe click here so see i will open this image in a new tab so what this and thanks to guru99.com for doing this image so in star schema there is a fact table and there is dimension table in our case see the fact table is a transaction the actual transaction actual activity that is happening is called fact table it is basically events that is happening in your business and the dimension table is the table such as customer product market and so on and all these tables entity tables connect with your fact table in this manner and it kind of looks like a star that is why it is called a star schema let's look at this other image so if i open this image in a new tab see this is how it looks i mean we kind of have similar thing we have product dimension date and in the middle you have your sales transaction so that's why it is called so see so this is a star schema so we have done our data modeling data modeling is very important uh, for a data analyst role or a data engineering role you need to know for your business problem how to create different tables and how to establish relationship between those tables okay so once we have established all this relationship uh, now we can go to here and we want to do a couple of things so the first thing i want to do is let's see we have a markets table correct so we have markets table where is my markets table here in my markets table i want to filter new york and paris because atlic hardware is running business only in india right now and new york and paris happens to be some values that exist in our database and we don't care about those so for that you can click on transform data so when you click on transform data it is going to launch a power query editor this is the place where you can do your etl or your transformation or your data cleaning data munging data wrangling whatever you fancy term you want to call it we are transforming data and we are cleaning unnecessary values here that's why this is uh, called a power uh, uh, 
this is the place basically where you do your uh, transformation and it's called power query editor so i will go to markets here and power bi is nothing but an excel on steroids so many things that you can do in microsoft excel you can do same thing here so here in zone i will say you know tax filters and you can say the tax filter does not equal to some value you can say that or you can just directly click here see if you look at this thing here this is microsoft excel so you can say select all the values except blank and when you do ok those new york and paris disappeared now if you notice on the right hand side see i applied this transformation here so when you click here on the navigation you will see new york and paris but i applied this transformation and filter rows and it filtered those two values and it also automatically created this formula see here is saying for each zone the zone should not be equal to blank value so this is our first etl or first data transformation very simple one but we already did it okay the second one that we want to do is see if you look at our sales transaction uh, table the problem that we had in this table was there were two problems one is sales amount is minus one so you don't want values with minus one so let's see how many values we have so select star from sales transaction where sales amount is equal to minus one when you run this query you find two values you can also do sales trans tra tra less than equal to zero let's see if there are any zero values oh there are many zero values so i don't i think this is garbage because you sold someone some uh let's say five items and the price is zero i mean it doesn't it doesn't look good actually so we will uh filter all those all those values so go to sales transaction table here and i'm gonna filter sales amount see minus one and zero so i will uncheck these two and when i do okay those values are gone now so here again on the right hand side you will see step by step transformation this is your data pipeline so you connect it with your source you know in the navigation you see all this data and you see values like this minus one but when you go and filter rows that value is gone here also you see this kind of particular formula where it is saying sales amount not equal to minus one and not equal to zero okay basically it's saying filter everything which has minus one or zero okay so again we did uh, one more data transformation or data cleaning now another thing we want to do is we want to convert this usd these two values into inr because when we do sum of entire column to get the total revenue i don't want to add 500 into 777176 i want to convert 500 to indian rupees and then add it so how do you do that so for that you have to add a new column so what i will do is i will create a new column called normalized currency where all the sales amount will be converted into inr basically single currency okay so for doing that by the way i already have the github page that i created or uh, there is a readme file and i already have a formula here so i'm going to use this formula but let's do this thing step by step okay so i'm gonna go into add column and create a custom column you can also create a con let's see what is conditional column so when you click on conditional column you can uh you know you can say things like uh okay so conditional column is let's say currency if currency is equal to let's say usd then output i want to be one 
and let's call it custom column and when you do that what will happen is see if the usd is there the output is one otherwise the value is none okay now it created this custom column and here you can click here and you can edit this formula now you have to learn this formula syntax you can google you can go to power bi documentation and learn the syntax of these formulas uh, don't be afraid of these formulas it will take some time to learn it but once you learn it these formulas are not very hard it is just some syntax that you have to learn okay so here i'm saying if usd then one else none if i instead of null if i want zero then i can do that see now i get zero so these formulas are not that hard now we added a custom column by the way you can also add a, a conditional cust we added conditional column you can also add custom column and where do you add custom column see let's see custom column okay so when i add custom column it will allow you to type in the formula here directly you can click here to learn about the power bi formulas so i'm not gonna do this but you can do these are like two options you have okay so i will stick to the conditional column and i will try to change the formula here so see here the name of the column is custom instead of that let's call it normalize sales amount you know normalize sales amount fine when you do that see okay so far it looks good now now i don't want one and zero i want to actually convert it into uh, the actual value so how do i do that so when you want to refer to a particular column you can use this bracket syntax so if it is usd then let's say do this sales amount see now i got sales amount here if it is not usd so now if, if it is usd then i don't want sales amount i actually went sales amount into 75 i know that right now the usd to indian rupee currency conversion rate is 75 75 rupees is equal to one dollar that's why when i multiply it see i got now my inr very good so in the else i don't want zero i want the indian rupees perfect see now in this column i have all the amounts in indian currency so this usd is now converted into indian currency this is similar to the excel microsoft excel formula it's just that it has little difference in text so again to go through our data pipeline we initially imported our data so you click here you get your raw data here then we filtered the rows which is minus one so when you click on filter rows it went away and then we converted we added a new column so this is also known as data transformation you know etl extract transform so by transforming we converted usd into indian rupees and load load is basically we are loading data into power bi etl uh, is a terminology used uh, in the world of data warehouse so in the one of the i think second video or third video we covered data warehousing concept we are not building a data warehouse here but you can kind of get an idea on this concept okay so let's quickly verify something so due to some reason i am seeing usd two times so let's see why this usd is two times so i can uncheck these two So due to some reason there is this extra character here uh, in USD so what I will do is uh, I will use this as well in our formula okay so I, I created this filter row just to see what's going on with the second USD so there is an extra character so I will now remove this here so when you click here it will remove that okay and then here i will say if usd because see this is the second usd let's let's look at the second usd here so 
So see for second USD, it did not do this conver conversion properly. Okay, so let me remove this once again. And here I will say, or currency equal to this. Okay, so when you now do this, and let's quickly verify. So now see this USD is also converted into this. Okay, perfect. So let's do this. Once you have applied your transformation, which is step one to three, you, what you can do is you can go to home and you can say close and apply. So when you do close and apply, it will apply all this transformation and it will take you back to your main power BI dashboard where you are going to build uh, that visualization. So if you click here, you know now, now your tables so let's say sales transaction. So the, these tables have those transformations applied. Okay. So if you look at, uh, USD, see, we have our normalized sales amount here. Okay, so I'm clearing a filter. So I am seeing now the transform data. So all the data that you see here in the all this table, see sales market doesn't have New York and Paris. So this data is now transform and we have a data model here. And in the next video, we will go here in the report section and we will start building our Power BI dashboard. I hope you're liking this project so far. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you uh, like this project and share it with as many people as possible. Thank you.